Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So here we'll be doing a complete walkthrough of the 2022 maths paper one arithmetic here. Yeah? Now trust me guys, this is going to be easy, quick and straight to the point. So let's go through straight to the paper here. Yeah? So I'm going to move my head out of the way. So I put my name down and first thing you guys should always put is your first name and your last name. So take your time to write your name and then when you're ready, let's go. So let's check it out. Let's just move my head there. Now let's go over practice questions. So the first one they want to ask us is what is three plus two? Well straight away three plus two needs to be five. So just enter five like that. But make sure you put it inside the box, guys. Yeah. Now question one: What is three plus seven? Well, start from seven, add three more, and you should get ten. Okay, so ten like that. Now next one: a hundred take away one. So you go from a hundred, go one back. You should be left with 99. And then next one, question three, 33 at 10. Guys, so just start from 33, add, add 10 more. So add one more to the tens column. So you go from 33, you should end up at 43. Okay, next one would be 19 take away three. Go from 19, literally get, go back three spaces, guys, yeah? So it's gonna be 18, 17, and then 16. Nice. So yeah, next one, two plus 67, same thing applies, guys. Start, start the bigger number, so 67, and add two more. So it'd be 68, 69. So put over there, 69. Next one, times tables, so two times seven. So just think of doubling. So we need to know that double seven is 14. So one and four makes 14. And next one would be 10 times five. Same thing, guys. Start from 10 and keep more applying I keep adding 10s to get a 5, so it'd be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. A nice little trick, guys, is that you can start at 5 and just stick a 0, so it'd be 50. Another one, 30 plus 50, same thing. So start at 50 and add three tens. So it should be at 50 and then 60, 70, and 80. That's it, so it should be 80 over here. Now, guys, always take your time with these questions, yeah? No need to rush for any of them. Next one, 41 plus 41 minus 10. So instead of adding 10, we're going to go back by 10. So instead of going up to 51, it's going to drop down to 31. Okay, division. So 15 divided by 5. So this is like times table in a way. So how many 5s are there in 15? Well, we've got 5, 10, 15. So you've got 3. So it goes 15 into 5 was 3 times. Okay, next one. Now it's getting a bit more deeper. So 31 add 46. In this case, it's probably better to set up your column. So what I would do, I'll put 31 here and then 46 underneath. And then what you want to do, guys, is literally just add them up. Add up from the unit size, so add up from the right side. So one plus six on the right is going to give us seven. And then three plus four is seven as well. So the answer should be 77. Now, the reason why it looks like this, guys, is because I'm actually writing from my using my hand and, and my phone, so that's kind of why. But next future videos, hopefully, it'll be a lot better. So next one, question 12. It says half of 80. So we need to first know that half of 8 is 4. So that means half of 80 must be 40. So the answer should be 40. Okay, good. Next one would be 67 take with 40. So just like the other one, we're gonna go back by four tens, yeah? So let's check it out. So if you go back by four tens, start from 67. So you've got 57, 47, 37, 27. So it should be 27. If that's, if that's a bit tricky, just start from 60. So you've got 60 and go back four tens, you've got 50, 40, 30, 20. So 27. That might be easier to look back on. Okay, next one. 8 plus something plus 4 is 17. With these kind of questions, let's add up around it first. So 8 plus 4, that should give us 12. So 12 plus something should give us 17, right? Let me just, let me just rewind that back. 12 plus something should give us 17. So that means if we're going to go from 12 to 17, how much more do we need? So from 12 to 17. So what we can do is literally count upwards, it might be faster. So from 12, we've got 13, 14, 15, 
16, 17. So it's five more. That means 12 plus five should give us 17. So the answer should be five. Okay, there's quite a few ways to do this, guys. So pick the way that suits you. Now next one, 100 divided by 10. So how many tens are there in 100? Well, if you do your 10 times table, you're going to start from 10. So it'd be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And another one, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So you realize you should get 10 fingers. So 100 divided by 10 should give us, well, 10. These are the kind of questions what we need to know mentally, guys. It will help us save a lot of time. Next one, 58 add 32 gives us something. So what you can do, add 3 tens to 58, should get 68, 78, 88. And then add two, add two more units. So 88 plus 2 will give us 90. Okay, so it should be 90. That should be our answer, 90, 90. Now, not bad, let's keep going, yeah? So 45 at 16. Now this is, we're getting close here, guys. We're near the end of this. So 45 at 16. So just like other one, let's add 110. So 45 at 110 will give us 55. And now we need to add six more. So adding six more, you should get up to 61. So that should be your answer, 61. Good. Next one, a quarter of 16. Well, we need to know what half is first, because quarter just means you're halving twice. So half of 16 should give us 8, and half of 8 is going to give us 4. That's it, that's a quarter of 16. Next one, 60 as something is 89. So it's kind of like subtraction again. What you can do is just do 89 take away 60. So go back 6 tenths from 89. If you go back 6 tenths, we're going to have 79, 69, 59, 49, 39, and one more 10, 29. So the answer should be 29. Oof, not bad. Almost done. So next one, 25 at something gives us 37. So just like other one, because because the the equations on the other side, you can do some reverse uh, subtraction. So let's do 25. Let's do 37 take away 25. Might be easier. So what I'll do, I'll take away two turns first from 37. So from 37, you're going to take two turns. So you can get 27, 17. So that's the first step. And now we're going to take away 5 units. So 17 take away 5 should give us 12. And that's the answer, guys. 12, yeah. Easy. Same for the next one. 54 take away 15. We're going to take away 110 first. Just should give us 44. And then take away 5 units. So guys, count back from 44, 5 units. So you should get 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, that's it. So 39 is the answer. So you put 39 in the box. That looks, that looks like a four, doesn't it? So 39, okay. Next one, 60 divided by five. Okay, almost done guys, I'm gonna put my head down a bit. So 60 divided by five, how many fives go into 60? So this is actually part of the 12 times table. So we need to know immediately that if we're counting fives, we should start from five. So five times something gives us 60. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So already on tens, 55, 60. So you should get 12 fingers from this. That means 60 divided by 5 should give us 12. Nice. Next one, 92 take 85. So there's another way. You can Because the numbers are quite close, let's count from 85 to 92. Find the difference between those two. Well, if you start from 85, you can get, add 5 more to get to 90. And then, oops, 9, 0. And then if you add 2 more, you're going to get 7. So 92 take with 85 should give us a 7. That's it. And now lastly, next one. Well, not last actually, we've actually got two, 2 more to go. Something take with 50 is 50. Here's a nice trick, guys, yeah? This is a bit of a tricky one. So instead of minus 50 on the left side, if you move it to the other side, it'll be plus 50. So 50 at 50 is 100. So that's what they want. They want you to spot that you actually add the numbers, yeah? So you get 100. And that's the answer. Now, finally, then this is the final question, guys. 66 take away 38. Okay, just like the other ones, we're going to do the same method. So we start at 66, and you're going to take away three tens. 66 take away three tens should drop down to 36. And now we're going to take away eight units from 36. So taking your time with this one, if you go back eight units, first let's go back six units and then two units. So that should give us 
30 and then 28 so the answer should be 28 guys and that's it that's literally um yeah that's literally the end of the test guys if you guys found this test you know okay and you know helpful let me know what you guys think because honestly these 10 minute questions was not as bad as other years but if you guys did it and you smashed it, well done, give yourself a pat on the back. And I'll see you a lot next time, yeah? But other than that, have a nice day, guys, and see you soon, inshallah. Take care. Bye.